While we at BJU Press do not encourage formal grading in early childhood, you as the teacher will want to know how your student is learning and growing and what level of mastery has been achieved. So rubrics have been provided to help you assess your student in Focus on Fives. Let me walk you through how they are meant to be used. The first rubric should be used at the end of lesson 24. You'll notice that the objectives covered in the first 24 lessons are listed in the first column. There are four categories to choose from when assessing your student. The first category is N or needs improvement. This category should be marked if your student cannot complete the objective yet or if they need a lot of help and clearly do not understand the concept yet. The next category is S or satisfactory. This category should be marked if your student is able to do some of the objective but still needs some help and it is clear that the student is beginning to understand the concept. The third category is P or making progress. This category should be marked if the student is definitely making progress and although some mistakes are made and sometimes help is needed, it is clear that there is some understanding of the concept. The final category is M, or mastered appropriately. This means that the student rarely makes mistakes, rarely needs help, and mostly understands the concept. Now, you may be wondering, how am I going to know how my student has mastered each objective? Good question. So these rubrics are meant to be used along with the checkup station pages. So after your student has completed the checkup station and you have checked it, Simply use the rubric to record the level of mastery of the student showed. You will notice like right here they have to write the letters. So here the objective is forms uppercase and lowercase i correctly when writing. So you would look right here and then you would decide, you know, does it really need a lot of improvement? They really can't do it yet. You would mark here. If they can do some but need a lot of help, you might mark S for satisfactory if they're doing really pretty well, but sometimes a mistake is made. You might mark there, and if they almost never make any mistakes when forming their eyes, you would mark M for mastered appropriately. So I would encourage you to then take time to reflect on the rubric after it is completed, and then think, do you need to take a day or two to review a certain concept? Is there an area that might need some extra daily reinforcement? The rubrics are tools to help you help your students. Now you may notice that we do not evaluate oral reading in Focus on Fives. Our goal is to set the stage for comprehension-centered reading. Assessment of the student's oral reading at the kindergarten level should be informal. Observing the student's progress, examining his work, and engaging in discussion. Please, please, please remember that every student is different and learns at a different pace. If your student is not scoring mastered appropriately for every single objective at the time you fill out the rubric, that's okay. It's even normal. You are looking for growth over time. Your student will continue to review concepts that have been introduced throughout the course. Be patient and encouraging. Do note which objectives seem more challenging to your student and focus on strengthening them with some extra practice if needed. But the goal is to lay a strong foundation, not perfect mastery in every area. Keep learning and growing.